Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and another Lawn Fawn Fans video hop. This is the Spring Hop and we are being sponsored by the Only One Life Creations shop. At their shop, they carry a lot of products including Lawn Fawn and they are sponsoring us and giving away a $50 shopping spree to their shop. So make sure you hop along with us and leave a comment and you will be entered to win. I am featuring the Build a Basket Easter die set from Lawn Fawn for today's project. I took the die set and die cut out a ton of pieces in all different colors. And these outside in stitched scalloped rectangles, five of them to be exact. And I also used the brand new perfectly plaid paper. I picked four of the patterns from that pack and one from the original this one right here, I die, or I cut with my paper cutter some rectangles that measured four by two and three fourths so they fit right inside that stitched line. I'll glue all of those down and then I'm going to use the grassy border die to die cut a three inch strip of grass for each of these banner pieces. And I'm gonna glue them right above that stitched line. And then I have five pieces to create an Easter banner. I'm gonna stack all of them up and use my crocodile to punch a hole in the corner. This way I can do all five at once. I felt like the smaller side was too small so I flipped it over and punched out the larger holes. I'm gonna set those aside and start building my baskets. So first of all, when you die cut this detailed basket piece, I found it best to run it through my die machine and then back again. So it's running through the machine two or even three times to really have it die cut out all the intricate little pieces in this piece right here. I am gluing mine tone on tone, so the detail piece on top of the solid piece. The solid piece has a slit in it, so I was able to slide in the grass just like that, and then I'm gonna glue on the handle. So I'm making my baskets all one color, but you could have like a white basket weave on top of a color or a lighter on top of a darker. So many different options with these baskets. Now that I have the baskets assembled, I am going to add a little basket liner and bow to each of them. So I just laid them out so I could figure out what color I liked best with which because I wanted to have these be like lots of different colors so that, I don't know, it just seemed more festive that way. <laughs> so the liners are glued down the little scallop piece and then I'm going to take this bow and use my crease tool to round off those pieces so that they bend easier. I put a glue dot right in the center and then just fold in the edges of the bow. Hold that down with some reverse tweezers so that it really takes hold. Once that's dry, after about a minute, I'll put some glue on the tail and wrap that around. It'll cover up the seam where the two bow pieces meet. And then for the tails, I'm gonna glue that directly to the handle of my basket. And then to glue the bow piece on, I am gonna use a glue dot and liquid glue together because it is an uneven surface. I really like to double up on the adhesive there. I'll repeat that on all the baskets and you can see that the basket liner and the bow match on all of these baskets. Then I am going to decide which color eggs I want to go in each basket. So I made sure that I didn't have an egg that was the color of the basket or the color of the liner. And then I just glued them together. So some of them are colored on the top and white on the back. Some of them are solid eggs and some are tone on tone. So I just played with it and it was tons of fun. Now I'm gluing these into the basket so that they're behind the grass but in front of the back of the basket. And then all of them will get their eggs glued into place, which it was really fun just arranging them. And then once those are done, I have one more piece to add to this basket and that is the chocolate bunny. The chocolate bunny has two pieces, just like the eggs, a detailed piece and a solid piece. I die cut mine from the same color, but you could play with this and have like a lighter chocolate on top of a darker chocolate, however you want. But tone on tone looks really good to me, just like a regular chocolate bunny would be. And then I added a bow to each of them that would match the bow on the basket that they're gonna go in. I glued those to the back so they were peeking out from behind the eggs. 
and I think the chocolate bunny really makes these baskets. They're so adorable and so fun to make in all these different colors. Next, I need to glue my baskets to my banner pieces. I added some scraps of white cardstock to the bottom so it made it a little bit more of an even surface to put the glue on. And then you can see here which pattern paper I adhere each of my baskets to. And they are so Eastery. I am in love with this banner. And I had those scalloped rectangles already cut from a previous project a long time ago. And I'm really glad that I did and I found them because I was gonna go with a white scallop in the background, but I love how the brown turned out. So you see I have this purple basket left over. I'm gonna set that aside for project number two. Now I'm just handwriting some little tags that I'm going to attach to the top of the basket. These are all the people in my family, including Toby, who is our dog. He gets his own basket too. I thought it was fun just to personalize these for my family. And that's why there's only five pennants in my banner. I have some twine here. I'll cut off a long piece. And then I'm going to wrap the end around my finger to make a loop. And then I'll wrap that around my finger again and tuck the loop through the hole. And then the other end is not tied. So I can put that down through the front and up through the back and scoot that first banner piece all the way to my loop. And then I'll just continue down through the front and up through the back, threading on each of the pennants for my banner. This is uh, t like twine, a thicker twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. So very affordable and perfect for this banner. Now on the other end, I'll do the same thing, make a loop, wrap the loop around my finger and tuck the end through the hole and just trim off the excess. So now this banner needs a little bit more embellishment. I'm going to color all the detail on this basket with my glitter pen from Lawn Fawn. I'll also do a little bit on the eggs and the bunny's bow and just add a little bit of shimmer to finish these baskets. I felt like having the shimmer would make the um, pattern on the basket stand out a little bit. I also wanted to add some of the die cut flowers, so I am doing tulips. I have one on each side of the basket and what I did was take um, the colors of the eggs for my tulips. So you see on this first one, I have a yellow tulip and a purple tulip, and I just put them on the opposite side. So the, the yellow tulip is opposite of the yellow egg, and I did the same on all five of these pennants. And then a few little tufts of grass in front of the basket to give it a little bit more of a 3D scene look. I wanted my tulips to have a more prominent presence on my banner, so I covered them with the glitter pen and also some glaze, so they would be nice and shiny. And that finishes up my banner. Now let's take a look at project number two, which is a place card. I added a little daisy to this basket and a name, and then I wanna make this stand up. So first I wanted my handle to be a little bit more sturdy, so I glued a second one to the back and that will make it be a little bit stronger. To make it stand, I have a one inch by two inch piece of cardstock that I scored at every half inch. I'm gonna glue the two ends together to create a triangle. Then once that's dry, I'll add some double stick tape to the back as well as some liquid glue. This will give me a little bit of time to wiggle it around to make sure I get it right where I want it. I have the bottom edge of my basket flush with the edge of this triangle. Then I have a second basket piece, the back piece, that I'm going to put glue only at the top. And then I figured out where it would touch my triangle and put glue there as well. I'm going to hold this in place till it's really dry and make sure that paper is contacting that triangle and once it's dry you can see that this stands up and it is the cutest place card ever I can see this at my family's Easter table and I think it'll be so much fun so there is my banner and place card I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you'll take time to hop along and see the 11 other videos featuring Lawn Fawn products from the spring release the next stop on the hop is linked for you in the description box below as well as the only one life creations shop who is sponsoring today's hop with a $50 gift certificate giveaway and they not only have great prices at their shop but their proceeds go to help 
missions in Africa. So you'll be helping a great cause when you shop at their shop. Thank you so much for stopping by and happy stamping. Bye.